So by now we have considered at least one example in each of our favorite vector spaces. So now let's have a more general discussion and talk about a linear transformation without even specifying the vector space. Of course, there aren't very many linear transformations like that that you can say anything interesting about, but one of those linear transformations is the identity transformation. And it is defined as the transformation that uh, leaves every vector unchanged. Whatever the input, that's the output. So if I had to define this transformation algebraically, I would write IV equals V. So whatever the input vector is, that's the output vector. So that's just great. If I could get a title and all of this attention for doing nothing at all, uh, I'll get in trouble if I complete that sentence. But in any case, you can consider the identity transformation on any vector space. If you consider it on the space of geometric vectors, then this is the transformation that does nothing at all. Whatever the input vector is, that's the output vector. On the space of polynomials, whatever polynomial comes in, that's the polynomial that comes out. And on the space of Rn, whatever set of numbers goes in, that's the set of numbers that comes out as the result of this transformation. So that's what it does. And that's what it does on every vector space that you might consider. So is there anything interesting that we can say about this transformation? Well, yes, one thing. We actually know all of its eigenvalues and all of its eigenvectors because it leaves every vector unchanged. Look, this almost reads like an eigenvalue relationship because the output is the input. So you can think of it as the output is one times the input. So every vector is an eigenvector with one, the corresponding eigenvalue. So if you actually had to in the tradition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, list all of its eigenvectors, or maybe eigenvalue eigenvector pairs, then you would have to select n, whatever n, n is the dimension of the space, n a linearly independent vectors to serve as representatives for the eigenspace, because the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue one is the entire space. So in summary, the eigenvalue the only eigenvalue of this transformation is one, but its multiplicity equals the dimension of the space, and every vector is an eigenvector of this transformation.